Hey, how's it going, guys? This is Tom from UDS with another edition of UDS Interviews, our series where we chat to interesting people from around the world. And my guests this week are a hardcore punk band who sling some of the fattest riffs in the biz today, meaning you will need a neck brace to stop yourself headbanging. Trust me, I've tried. They also happen to be the most destructive force to come out of Birmingham since Jasper Carrot, so you know they mean business. <laughs> and they're here today to talk all about their upcoming EP. It is my pleasure to introduce Mikey and Alex from arguably the most handsomest band in the world today, Fangs Out. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Cheers, man. What an what intro, an man. Yeah. Obviously, obviously, your camera's not working because you. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I speak no lie. I speak no lie. You are indeed the most destructive force to come out of uh, Birmingham since I can't even say it since Golden Balls is own Jasper Carrot. So well, we, we appreciate that, mate. Appreciate yeah, it. Thank you. Your own <laughs> fine, fine company, guys. How are you doing this Monday afternoon? We're all right, aren't we? I'm all right. Well, how are you, mate? I'm all right, mate. I am not bad. I yeah. am not bad. Been so how about yourself? Been grafting today, Al. Yeah, the joys yeah, of it. The joys of been, the Monday. Yeah, we've both been working real life jobs today, so it's not as cool. But we'll just we'll forget about them and pretend that Absolutely. we absolutely uh, we're full time. <laughs> yeah, that's it. You never <laughs> never let the real world get in the way of a good uh, of a good story. That's what I no, say. Yeah. Um, and actually, you know, I could talk about you know the band, so I'll get you to introduce that. But I'm sure you know you go online, people will be able to find out what Fangs Out are as a musical outfit. But I want to get to know the real you. And the way I like to do that is to ask the hard hitting question straight out of the gate. No, you know, no kid gloves. We're going for it. And so <laughs> this is one for you individually. And that is, if you were a type of sandwich, what type of sandwich would you say best represents you as a person? Um, Al, you're, you go first. You're the foodie, mate. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah I, I keep it simple. I'll just go for a try of cheese, Sarni. I love it. Very matured. So you can do <laughs> cheese jokes with it as well. It's great. But yeah, Very just, good. Just straight up plain Jane cheese, Sarni. I'm all good. I'm all over it. I, I just go for my favourite, mate. I don't know why. I, I just love a tuna mayo, man. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know why that would describe my personality, but. <laughs> fishy. Um, <laughs> bit, yeah, a bit fish, bit of a fishy dude. Sometimes um, you just got to go with your favourite, and you know, like it, it. You can't describe it. That's just just what you are. But that's, the, that's it, man. They're two strong, reliable, uh, you know, favourites. Never do you wrong, no matter when you need it. Re reliable, dependable. You both sound delicious. So that's the main, <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's the main thing. But we should probably talk about music a little bit because that's obviously why you guys are here. And uh, your brand new EP, The Humour in Hell, is out in just a few short days at time of recording, yes. dropper October 6th. Could you tell us a little bit about the new record? Yeah. Uh, so it's, like you say, it's an EP. It's five tracks. Um, we wrote it last year tail end of last year yeah was it? towards the end of last year yeah. yeah um and then we went into record with our producer Owen in march um and yeah like we it was about two two weeks in the studio i think two sort of yeah. separate weeks wasn't it yeah broke over the weekends yeah five tracks um and yeah man it's just i think it's uh, a great representation of where fangs out has where we are now and um we released two Two songs before that, um, in March as well, didn't we? I think we dropped yeah, yeah. February and March, and then yeah, we were just sort of straight back into the studio after sort of because those two songs were sort of hello, we're back again because we sort of we went away for a little bit after we recorded our second EP, and um, yeah, man, we just went straight back to the studio, smashed out five tunes, and I'm the the most proud I've ever been of every song on that EP, and I think it's uh, there's a little something for everyone on there. It's the most sort of eclectic we've ever been. Um, as, as everyone always says, the singiest bits are the most singy and the, uh, the heaviest bits are the heaviest. Um, <laughs> it's like cliche where it's, it's the, like, yeah, the, yeah, it's the best we've probably done, but I think we're all on the the right track with it as well. Yeah. Like it's, um, yeah, we all felt it and just went in and yeah, really happy with the result. Looking forward to yeah. getting it out there. So Oh, we can't wait. We've been sitting yeah. on it for months, man. <laughs> That's the uh, hardest part when you have to do a release. It's just waiting and waiting and waiting. It's, uh, yeah. Yeah, so it's like, yeah, so it's we're super, super stoked to just get it out on Friday this week. So, yeah, yeah man, uh, it's sick, yeah. hopefully. Ab 
I mean, I've been lucky enough to hear a sneak preview oh. of it, and it is it is fucking great. It's, it's, and uh, it's even fun. you have to forgive me, I can't remember the name of the opening track, but just from that opening riff onwards, it just doesn't stop. It's just fucking just balls to the wall rock the entire time. And uh, yeah. it's uh, it's interesting because obviously you cover a lot of different sort of you know I guess sort of themes and and sort of topics on this EP. You've got obviously Sabbath Town, which is a love letter to your your fair city, but then yeah. obviously you've got um, tracks that are more sort of introspective and more you know dealing with some pretty heavy stuff but in quite a, a light-hearted way and i yeah. wanted to know in that sort of writing recording process was was it quite therapeutic to get th- those sort of themes and you know internal whatever it may be i can't think of the word off the top of my head but yeah that sort of stuff was, was it a therapeutic process always it always is and like like you said like i think some of it's uh very personal to myself or or you know like you say but you know, through the recording and writing process, we we you know we dealt with some heavy things we, we, as within the band, and just I think getting in that studio together as a as just friends, it just you know it it helped you know sort some things out and just um. But yeah, and that's where the sort of title of the EP sort of came from. I, you know, I've mentioned in interviews before, it's sort of my way of dealing with heavy situations and stuff like that. It's just making jokes of it. But to be honest, I think, I think all the boys in the band are the same. Yeah. And I think that, you know, we all just crack on, you know, and sort of, you know, not, ma- not make light of things, but just find the sort of, you know, the humor in the hell that we sort of, that we've been through into recording. Well, yeah. And, think, yeah. Well, now you carry on. So I was going to say, I think like with, with the four of us, like we're all always fall back on like each other. So like any, any like crap that goes on really like we all know we've got each other's back everything's yeah. all good like it's you know it is like what mike said but we're all winning we're all friends it's not like it's like your nine to five job mm-hmm. work associates like we're all there for each other so mm-hmm. it's um yeah it definitely helped like everyone pull through a lot of tough stuff so it's definitely. been really yeah it's been great definitely man I guess there's a sense of ownership and, and, you know, you if you can not make light, but, you know, if you can find humour in those sort of darker times, I guess, because I'm the same, I feel like it sort of, it gives you that sense that, you know, you, it's not letting you dominate your mood yeah. and the way you're feeling it, and it gives you that kind of control over it. I don't know if you guys sort of feel that perhaps it does the same for you. No, that's what it is, isn't it? It is, it, it yeah. definitely does, you know, you try not to let it weigh you down and, but yeah, man, like it was, um, it was a weird old process. I just think that, going in but what's come out of it like we said is just it's made us i think stronger as a band and like we're just yeah that we just we're super stoked on it and um yeah, yeah. man <laughs> and and i'm always interested when you know anyone working in any sort of creative field when you get to the end of a project you get some people who are like i'm done with it i never want to see it again i just want it out there and then you get some people that are like can't let it go and almost like i want to just tweak that or just do that a little bit what what was it for you guys was it one of those ones where it's like it is done we can draw a line or was it was it hard to sort of let it go and sort of you know give it out to the to the world as it were well i think al will comment on that because <laughs> <laughs> when we write, like we'll bring it because we all write, you know, we all, you know, we all sort of put to the music and stuff. But I've got a habit while we're in the writing phase anyway, where we'll finish a song in the room. And then the way my head works, I'll just go away and just think about it for a week until the next practice. And it'll be like, you know, we said it was done. I've just thought of this next thing. And the, it's a joke now. The boy's like, every time. <laughs> it's a good habit. Like, yeah, we, we <laughs> let him have it. But it's like, he, he, there's, like you know it works it comes he knows what he's doing method in the madness is what yeah, i say mostly so. you know, I, I always say i was like trust me trust me you know or, <laughs> but i mean once we we're in the studio it was sort of it was done i mean there was a bit of tweaking like vocals and stuff i sort of had a we demoed um in our band lockup and stuff um and then like i don't think much changed on the vocal front maybe no, some melodies and stuff i don't know i think yeah i think like with we we had like a longer spell for recording time but like, i got two days on drums what yeah. i'm never used to but like yeah. everyone had a good period of time so like yeah. if there was any little tweaks it wasn't like oh we're really changing the whole song structure yeah. it's like okay we'll try this while we're here and if it works it works if not but i think it was pretty <laughs> it was solid yeah. as soon as we went in it was near enough well, yeah, line was, by I, line I, with it. I forgot i forgot about that yeah we had the extra sort of last day that we never we never get when we've recorded before it's always super time pressure and it's mm. like that's the take we're done and uh but this time we was like you know what let's just have an extra day in there and like al said it was it it helped because i remember there was one vocal there was a couple of vocals i was like listening to them like the week prior and i was like nah man i can do them better 
And uh, we sort of just went in and blasted them out. And then we sort of had the day for a few bells and whistles, didn't we, Alan? Just, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and like, but then on the other side of the coin, when it when we've finished it, I'm the dude. I'm like, I can't listen to it now. Like, I, like, <laughs> like I, you, Al listens to it in the van at work, I, don't I you? It just blasted today, don't like, you? It's so bad. It's like really. Like, I'll listen to it for like listen. six months. It's yeah. yeah. <laughs> as soon as uh, it come out that bit, I'm like, yeah, I, I ain't bother with it anymore. One yeah. so I the other one away. Yeah, I'm, I haven't. I haven't listened to. I've listened to the singles and stuff, but I haven't listened to it like really in full since. And I'm going. I wait until it goes up on Spotify, and then I. So on Friday morning when I'm driving to work, I'll put it on. I'll put it on because yeah, it's just it does get when you're sort of in the. You know, every band's the same when you're writing those songs from like, I don't know, last year. Like yeah. you've heard you've heard them a billion times, so it is nice to have a bit of a break from them. And hopefully, when I listen to it again, I go, oh yeah, I enjoy this, and not think, oh god, what, what, what did we do? Like, but yeah, man. <laughs> well, you, you, hopefully you haven't forgotten the lyrics because you guys have got the uh, EP launch show on the 27th of October. So yeah. bloody busy month for you. But uh, that yeah. must be that must be something else you guys are really, really excited for. Oh, 100%. Oh, yeah. 100%. Yeah. Like we, when we started the band, we were really fun and we were like, <laughs> listen, we're, ne- we're not going to headline. Like we were just going to support people. And, and like, obviously when we started the band, we started a really bad time because the world shut down and blah, blah, blah. We're not going to go over that. But when we started doing shows again, it was just support, support. Because obviously you want to build a fan base. And I mean, we've been doing that for two years now yeah. or something. And it was, it's time to sort of do a headline. And um, it's, it's daunting because obviously it's like, shit, is anyone going to come? Yeah. Um, but please like, uh, yeah, please, please come. If you, if you listen to this, uh, please come. Um, but no, we, we are like, we're super excited. And it's like the longest set we've like, our songs are like two minutes. So it's like, <laughs> we've never played we, so many songs but we, before. I know, but we've actually cut songs as well. I don't know how that's worked, but it's like, we've had to cut some songs out that we're not going to play. We're going to play the EP in full, obviously. Yeah. And then some of the, uh, the old classics um, that are like two years old, but. Yeah, man. Like it's yeah, it's it's gonna be sick. It's gonna be sick. It's gonna be a good time. And like we just said, let's do. It's gonna be a celebration for. It's the final cherry on top of everything we've yeah. done. Nothing. Whatever happens, we're all gonna go. We do it live anyway. We'll go out there and have a, have a good bloody laugh. And I think we're gonna do the same for that. So, just our yeah. names on the top of the poster this time, which is yeah, no. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> it. Yeah. It sounds like it's gonna be one hell of a party. And uh, yeah. yeah, you guys. I mean, I'm down in Kent, but you guys have got to get your asses back down to uh, London or Kent sometime because uh, you got to. Yeah, it's <laughs> what we are trying, hundred percent, man. Like we we see the listeners on our Spotify algorithm stuff, and it's like there's a lot of people in London and the South. So it's like, yeah, man, we need to um, we're going to work on it. Let next year will be just as many shows as we can do. Um, yeah, that's, that's the plan. Um, so yeah, hopefully we'll be down your neck of the woods ASAP, Rocky. <clears throat> very cool, very cool. And one last thing on the album, I can't talk to you guys without mentioning this. That album or EP cover is freaking amazing that like yeah. uh, what, what was the story behind that is that something that you guys have you know did internally do you get commissioned what how did the uh the ep cover come about we i went on i just googled man because like i'm sort of like super like big fan of like uh mastodon sort of art and just like sick artwork and to be honest like we've always been really proud of the art and i thought this one needs to be like the best it's been and i can't think of his name but we found a chap on online and um he uh yeah he's he's amazing and we sort of sent a message and yeah he wanted to work with us and uh that is the result of i sort of i get you know sort of gave him an idea around the title and stuff and he just rolled with it and gave us uh, like three different uh covers didn't he alan yeah we had three to choose from it that that one i think you always kind of had that image in your head because i remember you saying like when we was first like emailing him Mm. You're like, ah, oh, I'd love to have it like the cover D mask removed and yeah. stuff like that. So I think like you already had it pictured in your head and to be fair, like you came back and just oh. knocked out the part with it. So like super amount. I think his name's Antonio. Um, but it's like so, so good. Like more like the best. So um definitely be working with him again if he wants to work with us, man. Cause yeah, really proud of it. Really proud. I yeah. think it's sort of yeah, it's the cherry on top as well for the for the uh, EP. <clears throat> I'm not going to lie. I was a, a tiny bit bummed out that there was no vinyl release announced at the time. So I was like, oh, that looked good. That looked good on a vinyl cover. Uh, yeah. but Are you a vinyl it's... dude then? I, I am, yeah, to to the uh, expense of my storage space in my flat because it's just <laughs> everywhere now. But yeah, I do love the vinyls, but uh, maybe maybe um, something to come in future. Yeah, man, definitely say, it's half a car. on tap market for us, isn't it? Yeah, so, like we've never, yeah, we've never sort of looked into that. Um, but I'd love it as well. Like, you know, mm. I've, 
I haven't got a huge vinyl collection, but yeah, the sort of you know, I would be sick on a on a larger sort I think of physical just thing. Have yeah, just have something physical. Not because everything's all digital now, isn't it? Yeah, so it's like, like yeah. a physical copy. Yeah, I know. We glad. look, you know, we both look seventeen, but we're a bit older than that. <laughs> I think we we come from the time of like tangible things and. Mm-hmm. You know, I yeah, I used to love reading the books inside and oh, yeah. lyric the lyric the lyric sheets and stuff. So that is a dream to be able to sort of do something like that in the future. But I don't know, just watch this space, man. We'll see. We'll see what happens. <clears throat> nice one, nice one. Um, and here at UDS, we don't just talk about music. We talk about the breadth of pop culture. So movies, video games, comic books, everything and more. If we find it interesting, we'll tend to chat about it. So with that in mind, if you could have one of your songs featured in anything, whether it be a movie, a game, or anything at all, nothing's off the table what would your dream thing be to have a fangs out track on mm. big question John Wick I'll go straight out Ooh, you want something cool. like that you just want something that's just non-stop from the beginning that you would just be want sick. a ride for it to be fair that would be sick yeah. <laughs> um yeah, man. Like, uh, I'm a big fan of the, you know, the boys, the se- the series, mm-hmm. the boys. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just think that I'd just be out of the box just to have one of our tracks on that when the superheroes so smashing, they've got smashing that, their heads. Um, new... NV. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I saw yeah. that. Two... Oh, I need to watch that. I'm two episodes <laughs> in, son. It's weird. Yeah. Is it good? Yeah, it's. Oh yeah, it's really good. Like, because I'm missing the boys so bad, and it's like, mm-hmm. it's exactly, you know, it's what you want. It's like gory and ridiculous, and there's another time. I don't know if you, are you sort of caught up on it. The, the boys have you caught up on it do yeah, you know the yeah. t- there's the scene with the tiny guy in like the last season <laughs> the, the scene I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, know, I know it well yeah, yeah 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 with no spoilers there's another scene like that again oh god in oh, the first oh no <laughs> so yeah it's just ridiculous man so yeah you gotta watch that but yeah something like that would be sick um or just like if the new like if they do another evil dead because I, I just watched that new oh, evil yeah, dead, evil no dead. yeah the new one that. yeah the new no. one's sick yeah just just a big old uh you know uh chainsaw fueled rampage just with your tracks that'd be that'd be sick weirdly the one that came into my head and it's quite a niche one but weirdly enough i was watching tv and jackass 3 came on and i was just (laughs) i was thinking not so much like the gross out stuff or the stupid stuff but you know every jackass uh, there's always a little segment where they actually have like some legitimately good like extreme sports where they might go skateboard and thing i was just thinking one of these tracks because obviously i was listening to the ep ahead of this i was like one of these tracks would be amazing behind like some extreme sports montage or something like that that's so good the thing is though yeah. with, with Jackass, you're always beaten out by their dead letter. There's no point. There's that's no point. Man. That is just, that's, you know, that is the one, isn't it? But yeah, that yeah. was pretty sick. We should reach out to some skateboarders and stuff, man, and see if they want yeah. to stick it on the video. Yeah, one hundred percent. Wrestling intros, that's another one. Oh, yeah. Oh, cool. yeah. Come on now, yes. Now <laughs> you're speaking my language. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. that that'd be the next one. Yeah. That'd be like your starting platform and then whoo, off you go. Mm-hmm. That's it. That's it. Double double suplex with fangs out in the background. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, lads, lads, lads. Uh, I don't have many questions left for you, but what are the rest of the, your plans for 2023 and beyond um, for a band, as a band? Sorry. Yeah, so it's like we said, uh, released the EP on Friday this week, which is the 6th of October. And then uh, there's going to be a video release with that for our second single, which is called All the Best Drugs. And it's the video is ridiculous and uh, <laughs> we love it. It was, uh, yeah, it was done really sort of, well, it wasn't rushed, but we did it. We turned it around it was, really it quick. Mikey's love child. Yeah. <laughs> I did, I it was like your little brain spawn for it. Yeah. It's kind of like so good. <laughs> I'm not going to spoil it, but yeah, it's, there's a, there's a werewolf involved and um, our friend, well, our friend Josh, who, who shot our last, well, we included in that one, last two things, he absolutely smashed it out of the park. So yeah. that will drop with the EP. And then, like you said, we've got our EP release on the 27th in Birmingham at the Asylum 2, on uh, 27th October. Um, it's Halloween weekend. We've got fangs in our name. It's going to be a party, obviously, you know. Um, and then after that, like I said, we, we are just going to be playing as many shows as we can up and down the country into next year. And then probably knowing us, we're going to start writing again because um, yeah. we don't want to, with the way the music is now, you're easily sort of lost in the shuffle. So, we're going to be, I mean, we've started, we started already. We've got two songs in the bag. Um, so yeah, next show we'll be playing shows and writing towards what I would personally like a, an album, hopefully, but we'll see. But yeah, just go on the socials and all that malark, uh, fangs out music, and then just check us out and see what we're up to. 
Absolutely. We will stick all of the relevant links in the description below. But the final most important question I have to ask you guys, and bear in mind, I've already asked you what your favourite sandwich is. I'm ready. You know the (laughs) calibre. We we are UDS, which stands for Upside Down Shark. And don't ask me why. Why is that? I want to. Why is that? It's li- literally, literally, the, 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 the backstory is it, well, I used to work in a shop and right. to, to kill the time, if anyone said anything out of context that would make a good song title, I used to just jot it down and there was stupid stuff on there. There was like a uh, four inch fill. Um, what else is there? Just just all these like weird things that would make good, good song titles. And one of them just so happened to be Upside Down Shark. Can't yes. remember the context, can't remember anything. But I was just like, you know what? We want to do this website. I can't think of anything better. Let's just call it that. <laughs> but, <Not bad>. but, <laughs> It's, I want to think of so I want to do like make it like the Joker origin story where you know every single time is slightly different. But yeah, I'm you not, should think. Yeah, I'm not that. I, I'm not. I need to get like a green sleeve sleeve or something like that, and like you know, just like make it look like I have my arm bitten off by a shark or something like that. <laughs> but either way, either way, we're stuck with it now. And so, with that in mind, what are your guys' favorite sharks? And they could be real, they could be fictional. So it could be a shark from a movie, or it could be a shark from uh, the ocean. But what would you say your your favorite shark? Shark is um mine is none of them because i am petrified of sharks because oh, fair enough. Fair i enough. watched jaws, jaws way too young um <laughs> my dad letting me watch whatever i used to whatever i wanted to watch and i watched jaws and i never went into the never went back into the water so i don't really go in the sea um as my missus will tell you i barely go in swimming pools but um <laughs> yeah man so the answer to the question is the answer to the question is none of them fair um, enough Fair yeah. enough. I mean, yeah, it's it's probably a healthy fear. You never know what's out there. I have a friend who, yeah. unironically, is terrified that if he goes into deep water where he can't see the bottom, that the kraken might get him. Um, mm. So, I mean, you just never know. You just never what know. Is what is it? They've only like you know uh, discovered like seven percent of the ocean. I don't know what it is. Yeah. Something mad like that. I don't know. Yeah. So exactly. you never know. There might be a kraken down there. You never know. You never know. Jason Statham's down there fighting the Meg somewhere. So. Oh my yeah. <laughs> yeah. God. Thank God. Of course But what about yeah. you? Alex um funny enough what you've got a hammerhead I love oh hammerheads. nice I just don't I, understand why the heads like it and it makes me laugh every I'm, time I see them it's, it's two, for, two, <laughs> two for one they're, they're a big fish and also a tall box item so you know exactly they, they got I every, always everything. think of uh was it biker mice from Mars they oh, didn't yeah. have a hammerhead shark as one of the buddies and that yeah. now you're showing your age Alex now you're yeah, showing your age <laughs> Hide the grass. Hide from the what? <laughs> uh, <laughs> mate, we, we've had the, we've had all of them. We've had uh, Sharky and George, uh, Street Sharks, all of the the nineties. Oh, it could have been Street Sharks. What I'm thinking of. I remember yeah. the toys being like proper tank and all sorts. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I mean, I would be very surprised if the street sharks weren't someone's sexual awakening at some point because they <laughs> they are f- fucking ripped. But uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, great, great. I mean, obviously, Mikey, I, I can't really accept nothing as a great choice. But we'll move, we'll move. Do you know what? That. Do you know what? If, if it's going to be the great white shark, then let's do right. Jaws. Let's do All great right, white because they're, they're gnarly. Follow the surname, mate. Follow the surname. Well, Mikey White, yeah, great uh, white. Yeah, yeah. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. You gotta gotta go with what you know. But yeah. honestly, guys, it has been an absolute pleasure chatting to you today. Thank you so much for your time no man thank you so much for having us we really really appreciate it man thank you so much anytime anytime